Hello. Good morning, everyone. God is good. 24-7. Take two. God is good. 24-7. God is good. To God be the glory. Can we give a round of applause, praising God for this wonderful, drizzling uh, day, um, rain. Uh, it's a sign of blessing comes from above. Amen? Amen. So, good morning, and we will be talking about today. Uh, Jesus uh, uh, calls the first disciples. The Old Testament reading is all about Jonah. So, it's all about God is calling us. What is our response? But before that, welcome everyone. And to those who are joining us online, wherever you are, God bless you and thank you. For your support and thank you all as we worship God today. So, but before that, a lot of announcement, please. Important announcement. Amen. Amen. You can't hear me? All right. Yeah. Everybody says I'm so loud, I don't understand. Okay, we need volunteers for worship to help with ushering and offertory and uh, communion and different things. If you would see, Debbie's not here, but Ann would probably take your name and phone number for Debbie. Also, the trustees are going to put up a maintenance repair in the back it'll probably be a week before we get it up but we want you to if you see something broken or need something fixed in the church just sign your name and phone number that way if we don't understand what needs to be repaired we can call you and ask also the trustees would like anybody that has keys to the building to see roger he's in the far green shirt back there we're not going to take your keys away we just want to know who has keys to the building yeah. <laughs> for security reasons and I believe that's all other than enough. Thank you. Tim, who's going to explain the thing, right? Is it the well, some of that, too. Oh, but okay. going yeah. along with what uh, Judy just mentioned about the DS meeting with us, we'll, we will be meeting a uh, lead team and uh, SPR members to discuss our um, financial situation. Um, just as um, so you are aware, in the uh, e, e newsletter this week, it was announced that Rachel, uh, our choir director, and her volunteer husband, uh, who has graced us so much this uh, for a few years with the music and the calm and uh, her presence all together, uh, SPRC had to make a very tough decision uh, this month and we, because of strictly financial reasons, 
we are having to lay off our choir director. And I can tell you it was a very cheerful decision. Uh, there are still tears being shed over it. Um, Rachel has been a very gracious addition to our church, but um, the DS is going to be working with us in hopes of um, basically keeping um, Journey moving forward financially because um, we have been draining our savings account to the point where now we are to the point where we cannot meet uh, payrolls. So w our fundraisers, our stewardship that is being brought up will be discussed more with the uh, DS, but we think in all fairness that you need to be aware of this as our congregation. Also, uh, next week will be Rachel's and DJ's last week. We'll have uh, cards and a uh, appreciation jar in the back if you would like to give well wishes, good wishes, and um, give her uh, some positive thoughts uh, and participate in the appreciation jar, we would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Uh, if you have questions, you can see myself. Uh, Deborah um, is uh, arriving, and uh, if you have other questions, um, you can discuss it with um, other members of the SPRC committee. Um, uh, give a wave here. Christy's there. Lana's here. Uh, Yasmin's out of town right now. We have Leah, of course, the pastor, Judy, myself. And um, we're going to become very strong in um, getting people to come to our church, bringing friends, opening our doors. There's going to be events that we hope will make us more viable to the community and um, make us look like a, a, a church that is, has a bright uh, future ahead. Did I miss somebody? I saw, okay. All right. Thank you. Amen. There is always hope in the future. Amen? Yes, it's really a tough decision for that. But uh, where two or three are gathered in my name, God is always with us. We are more than two. We are more than five. Amen? So, yes, so we, we need you all. Now, the pastor and, and, and the lead team cannot do it alone. So we are a team. We are, we are a family. We are a community of faith. And we are journey. Let us journey together. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hey, children and young people, come to the altar and let us do singing and yay. Isn't it amazing? God is so good because we have young people in our midst. Yay. Let us welcome the Bello family. Yay. So, uh, God. Yes. God whispered to them Hey, park at Journey UMC. You know what's the story? So, when they park outside, they saw the sign a Journey United Methodist Church. And, and Cynthia told, this is the church. It's a church. We are looking for a church. And they are here. They are now at Journey United Methodist Church. Yay! Thank you, Cynthia. And thank you. Wow. So, it's not only children's moment for now. Children and youth moments. There you go. So how are you doing? Good. Good. Yeah, you love rain? You love, do you love uh, cold weather out there? Nope. nope. You like snow? Have you been in Mount Charleston? Okay. So... The story for today is all about following Jesus. So we, we practiced this morning. Can you sing just one, uh, one, uh, one stanza? There were 12 disciples Jesus calls to help him. Do you know that there were 12 disciples? The song, There Were 12 Disciples. Okay, it goes like this. 
There were 12 disciples. Jesus calls to help him. Simon, Peter, and Jew, James, his brother, Jan. Oh, you know, do not know that song? Oh, that was a, a, a Sunday school song. Okay, there you go. Take two. We will practice it next Sunday. There you go. But I am introducing it to you right now. The song, 12, there were 12 disciples. Jesus calls to help him. Because our topic for today is all about following Jesus. You know what? When Jesus started his ministry here on earth, Jesus needs people to help him. And who are these people? The ordinary people. Fisher? There you go. Yes. Twelve disciples. So the children will sing that song. There were twelve disciples. Jesus called to help him next Sunday. Wait for it. Okay? Just wait for it. After this, they will practice the song during their nursery time. So Jesus called the 12 disciples fishermen. What the fishermen do? Go fishing. You're right. There you go. That's why they were called fishermen. They were not called bird men. They're not called. They were fishermen fishing. But you know what? When Jesus called them, suddenly, eventually, right the, mom right the moment that Jesus called them, hey, come on, can you be my disciple? A disciple means follower. Can you say again? Follower. 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 So, Jesus started his earth ministry by calling the 12 disciples. Why? Jesus wants people or these people call these people to help him in ministry in proclaiming God's word amen so like you Jesus not only children not only young people and everybody everyone God is calling calling us I know years ago we were called by God. Yes, Lord, I'm here to help you. I'm here, Lord, at Journey at Heritage, Griffith, Sunrise, First UMC. What else? Did I mention all the churches? <laughs> so years ago, you were being called by God to serve God. Amen? And now, we are called by God to serve not only at Journey UMC, but wherever, wherever God wanted you to be God's disciple. Amen? Amen. So church, children, young people, we are called by God to serve God, to serve Jesus, and to serve His church, and to serve everybody. Isn't that amazing? Serving one another and serving God? Amen. Amen. So they will sing next Sunday. They will practice after. Can we extend our hands and pray for these children and young people? Praise you, God. Praise your name. You love little children. You said to your disciples and people around, let the children come to me because these little children belong to the kingdom of God. Help us, Lord, to nurture these little children and young people. Help us, help us Lord, as church, as a family. Together we can join in serving you and serving one another. Continue to bless them and their family. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, you will practice the song, 12, There Were Twelve Disciples. Okay, good. Our young people and children. God bless you. Good. Are you listening? Are you? <laughs> God is doing a new thing. Will you, you join in? Yes. Yes. We will follow. Listen, did you miss it? God calls us again to build the kingdom of heaven. Will you join in? Yes. We will be builders of the kingdom. Wait, did you catch that? Again, God calls us to declare the good news to those in need. 
Will you join in? Yes. We will declare the good news through our voices and our lives. And still, God calls. God never quits calling us to live and to give abundant life. Will you join in? Yes. We will be joined with God in sustaining the gracious peace of our loved ones. May we respond to God's loving and persistent call with a loving and persistent yes. A yes for us, a yes for our neighbors, and a yes for our world to be transformed by the good news that God's kingdom has come near. Amen. Jesus, let your kingdom come here. Let your will be done here in us. Jesus, there is no one great. Children of your mercy, rescued for your glory, we cry, Jesus, set our hearts towards you, that every eye would see you lifted high. Let your glory reign, shining like the day. King of heaven, come. Sounds great. Come on. King of heaven, rise up. Who could stand against us? You are strong to save in your mighty name. King of heaven, come. You are strong to save. You are strong to save in your mighty name. Join me in the opening prayer. Leading and guiding God, you have opened the doors to us for true service. We are encouraged to become involved in ministries of peace and justice. The light of promise is reflected in your spirit, which rests in each one of us. Get us ready to serve you. Guide our lives as we learn more of what you would have us do. Amen. The first Bible reading comes from Jonah, verses 1 through 5 and 10. Conversation of Nineveh. The word of the Lord came to Jonah in a second time, saying, Get up, go to Nineveh, that great city, and proclaim it, t proclaim to it the message that I tell you. So Jonah set out and went to Nineveh. According to the word of the Lord, now, now Nineveh was an exceedingly large city, a three days walk across. Jonah began to go into the city, going a day's walk, and he cried out, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. 
and the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast, and everyone, great and small, put, put on a sackcloth. When God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil ways, God changed his mind about the comedy that he had said would bring, he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. I am your servant and I am listening speak to me Lord speak to me I need your wisdom your truth and comfort speak to me Lord speak to me Speak to me, speak to me, through your word, through your spirit, speak your words of life, speak to me, speak to me. to me, speak to me, through your word, through your spirit, speak your words of life, speak to me, speak to me, I am listening, I am waiting, speak to me. Speak to me, speak to me, through your words, through your spirit, speak your words of life, speak to me, speak to me. I am waiting, speak to me. Our second Bible reading comes from Mark 1, verses 14 through 20. The beginning of the Galilean ministry. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. Jesus calls the first disciples. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in a boat, mending the nets. Immediately he called them. They left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. This is the word of the Lord. The gospel of our Lord. Amen. Okay, take, take two. God is good. It's ready for seven. There you go. That is the new, new version of uh, God is good. The older version is, was God is good all the time. But because we are in a techie world, <laughs> so sometimes there is a revision on, on the tech terminology so 24/7 means all the time so 24/7 is uh, the whole day the whole week eternity let us please pray with me speak to us oh god 
as we hear thy message and speak to us and speak to your servant through your Holy Spirit. Amen. Do you remember the time that God called you to serve in the church or whatever capacity God will use you? Maybe that was years ago. Or maybe at this very moment. Or maybe last week. Or maybe some years ago. And what is the feeling being called by God? Is it not amazing to be used by God? Serving God with, with our own capacity, even we are not perfect. The 12 disciples was called by God. They were fishermen. They were ordinary men. We were not fishermen like the 12 disciples. But we are the fishermen of this generation. We are called by God to do God's calling. What is God's calling or Jesus' calling? Follow me. When, when Jesus saw the, 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 the first disciples, hey, come, follow me. The message of Jesus is, come, follow me. Don't follow JC. Don't follow other people. Because JC was also called by God to follow Jesus. And the purpose of our calling is to what? The purpose of Jesus called his 12 disciples is to, to help him. To help him what? To help him so others can preach the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. We are living in a very complicated world. Right? It is not the way we used to do. People are having more rights today. You cannot touch me. You cannot say that to me. This is my life. I, yes, there should be respect to one another. And that is God's grace for everyone. A gift. A respect. The time is fulfilled. John the Baptist called his community to repent. What is repentance? Repentance is turning away from what you are doing right now. The technical word is evil. And what is evil for now? Evil is not the one who having two turns, or the devil, like, like the illustration in, in a comic book or in, in a, in a uh, we, yes, comic book. Yeah? Oh, the devil is, we had two turns. Yeah! We were taught by that. But devil, evil, sometimes lives in us. Sometimes the devil or evil lives in us when we disrespect other people. Devil remains in us when we don't forgive others. When we don't forget or forgive others. Repentance is turning away. Turning away for, for the bad things that we are doing right now and look for Jesus and Jesus is saying, Hey, be like me. Repent church is also not only turning away from what is evil or bad in, in ourselves, but also turning away bad things towards other people. It is 
The second greatest commandment, loving our neighbors as we love ourselves. Jesus' message to his disciples, the first disciples, Jesus calls them, Come, follow me, and I will make you fisher of people. It meant during that day, fishermen works from, for their selves alone, for their family. It's all about them. It's all about them, their family. I have to work because I have my family to support. I have to work out there going in the Sea of Galilee to catch fish so that I can feed my family. It's all about me, me, and mine. But there was a turning point when Simon and Andrew called by God. Immediately, immediately they follow Jesus. They didn't felt a second thought. They don't doubt Jesus because the moment they saw Jesus, it's like a magnet. Hey, who is this person? Who is this Jesus? How come that suddenly, yes, Lord, I will follow you. Yes, Lord, we will follow you. Why? Because you are our Lord. You are our Savior, the Savior of this world. Yes, the disciples were called by God because it's about time. It's about time to change. Sometimes it's really hard to change, right? But change is inevitable. Sometimes it's really hard to change because this is where I was nurtured. Sometimes it's really hard to adopt others' belief or others, uh, what they call these practices or culture, because in this way I was nurtured. Sorry, sometimes I always use illustration from the Philippines because I came from the Philippines. I am a Filipino. I just came here four years ago. So I'm still learning from the culture, from your culture. So pardon me for, for sometimes I use illustrations, you know. But when the missionaries came in the Philippines, they always use illustration from here in the United States. Why? Because they came from the United States. See? So bear with me. We are learning and we are, we are listening to one another. And, and we, we can adopt a relationship with one another. Amen? So Jesus called his first disciples. The moment they followed Jesus, they knew that Jesus is their Lord. They knew that Jesus is the Savior, the King of kings and Lord of lords. How about you? A little reflection. By the time you say yes to God, what have you felt? What, what did you feel? Same? Yes, Lord, I'm here. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, I am here. I am your servant. Or are we like Jonah? No, Lord, I have a lot of things to do. Nineveh is a sinful, a sinful place. I, I am not belong to them, to that place. But eventually, Jonah came to Nineveh. Why? Because we can never say no when God calls us. Amen? It doesn't mean that being in ministry is being a pastor or deaconess or a deacon. Ministry is what you are doing to people and God. Ministry is serving God and serving people the way God puts you there. Last time, I, I told you, when God called you in, in a firm of uh, finance firm, God is calling you in, in that way. God called you to be a 
to be a military, thank you for your service. God called you in that way. You serve your country and you serve people. Or you are called by God as a teacher or working in, a, in, in, in different kinds of setting. God called you in that way and God put you in that way or in that place because God wanted you to be you. So let us reflect for a while. Am I doing this, this thing that God called me for me or myself alone, for my family alone? Or I am doing all this because I want to serve God and serve other people. Leaving everything else behind. 2,000 years ago, yes, it's different from now. The 12 disciples were called. They don't have Cox Internet. They don't have Tesla. They don't have cars. They don't have bicycles. But now it's different. We are in a techie world. So it's really hard for some people <laughs> to leave behind. Hey, Lord, I, I will follow you. No, it, technically and practically, it doesn't mean you must leave everything and follow Jesus. No. The calling for today is leaving everything what is behind, leaving what is past. Remember Paul's message? I forget what is behind and I press toward the goal. For what purpose? To win the prize. And that prize will not come from Amazon. That prize will not come to calls. That prize will not come from Macy's or what else? Walmart, Albertson, or Smith's. But the price that we are going through and the price that why we are doing everything, even it pains us, the price is eternal. Whatever we are going through as people of God, sometimes it's really hard. But do not forget God. Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Sometimes it's really hard to accept. Why God? We question God, Lord, why? Why not those people around me? Why those not people who, who do something bad about me? Oh, that is bad, praying for them. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes God, I may, I may say that sometimes we believe that God is not listening to us. But God always listen to us and do things silently for us. Right? People nowadays wanted a quick answer. God is not genie. God is not the lamp that we should one, two, three. Hey, genie, three wishes. Sometimes we act and we believe and we control God the way we want to be. Lord, give me the fried chicken. Give me this steak. Lord, give me work. Give me this and that. God is not like that. That's why we have faith. In our faith, we can wait because God is doing something out there for you, for your family, for journey. We don't know what is the future is all about, but we know that Emmanuel, God, is with us. So as God is calling us, Jesus or Simon, Andrew, and the other disciples follow Jesus. They do not know what their life be. They do not know what their life, their life be. But the moment they called, or they say, yes, Lord, they responded to Jesus. Yes, Lord, I will follow you. The gospel of today, church, challenge us to remain 
in God. The gospel of today, God is not done yet with us. God is always calling us. Like our song, as we want to become a children of God, God is not done yet for you, for me, and for, my, for our family. God is not done yet with Journey United Methodist Church. Join us. Let us join us together. As we follow Christ, we can say, Lord, here we are. Whatever you wanted me to be, to serve you in the capa whatever capacity that I may, whatever capacity that I can share to join the United Methodist Church or to other churches or whatever mission or ministries God is calling you. Church, when we follow Christ, we are not leaving everything. Why? Because God is giving more than what we want. To God be the glory. Please stand and join me as we recite the Lord's Prayer in, in, in our own language together. Our Father, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom. You are invited to place a donation in one of the offering plates as they're passed by as they are passed by our usher. Or you can give online as shown on the screen and scan the QR code. The first words of the Bible are about God's own generosity. God gave us gifts of beautiful creation, our home, the good green earth, and the animals that live here with us. On this winter morning, we come together to thank God and to offer our gifts so that the ministry of this church will continue to grow and be a blessing to the world. Let us gather our gifts and offer them to God in gratitude and praise. Morning by morning I wake up to find the power and comfort of God's hand in mine, season by season, I watch him amaze in awe of the mystery of his perfect way. All I have need of, his hand will provide. He's always been faithful to me. A trial or a pain He did not recycle To bring me gain I can remember One single regret In serving God only 
and trusting his hand all i have need of his hand will provide he's always been faithful to me His hand will provide. He's always been faithful to me. All I have need of, His hand will provide. He's always been faithful He's always been faithful to me Please join me in the offertory prayer. Generous God, we ask you to bless the gifts we give this morning. We ask that you help grow the trust in us so that we might follow without looking back and we might leave behind more of our old lives to experience more deeply new life in you. Help us to leave our nets on the shore and leave those things that seemed essential before we heard the call, so that we might travel the road you have put before us. In the name of Christ, who goes before us and beside us, we pray. Amen. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love joy like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. I've got joy like a fountain. Let's hear your voices. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. 
Church, uh, before the benediction, can you put your hands to the na- your neighbor and please pray for her, for him? Yes. So, God is not done yet with us, okay? God is keeping on calling us. So, as we pray for one another, let us ask God to bless us all, our family, and let us continue. serving God in whatever capacity we have and whatever we are going through God is always with us thank you Lord for everything continue to bless us all Amen yes you have been called by God and God is not done yet with us God is doing something for you and for us be with us God be with us Amen go i t all the w o r d Like a river, I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace.